So a really interesting thing in plants is the way nitrogen actually gets converted into proteins. And this is something we're seeing a lot with clients is that nitrogen gets caught up in the ammonium stage and then doesn't progress down to proteins. You want all your nitrogen as proteins. So when you apply nitrogen, you're either applying urea, as say a foliar urea, straight into the plant. The plant can also take out urea through its roots. Otherwise, if you're applying, say, urea onto the soil, it then gets converted into ammonium and then nitrate. So each of these can be taken up by the plant and inside the plant then needs to be first converted into ammonium. So regardless of whether or not it's nitrate or urea, it has to be converted into ammonium. Obviously ammonium just stays as ammonium. There's some key minerals that you need to have. So for nitrate, you need molybdenum. If you don't have molybdenum, then all your nitrogen gets caught up and stays in nitrate. For urea, it's nickel. Once it's in ammonium, then it needs magnesium or manganese for glutamate synthase which then converts it into glutamate or amino acid. That's super important. If you don't have these minerals, your plant can't process the nitrogen. Another really important thing for this step is you need sugars or you need photosynthates in order for there to be a carbon backbone for that ammonium to then be attached onto to form your amino acids. From there, there's a few other steps that get converted into proteins, like the requirement of magnesium uh, in the ribosome. But overall, it's getting the nitrogen into amino acid, which is the tricky part. Which is also why if you can supply your plants with amino acids, that's the most energy and water efficient way of supplying nitrogen because your nitrogen source comes directly in here and you don't need to worry about all this. It goes straight into amino acids and then straight into proteins.